coming to an elevator, how do you know it's safe? Well, in the district, there's a government agency called the DCRA that is supposed to take that worry away from you. But as Delia Gonsalves reports in tonight's WUSA 9 original, a growing number of people, including some politicians, say DCRA is run so poorly it's failing all of us. We're talking about the D.C. Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs, the agency responsible for making sure all the elevators in the district meet industry code standards. And when there's a serious code violation, DCRA is supposed to take that elevator out of service until repairs are made and it passes a safety inspection. But as our WUSA 9 investigation uncovers, there are cracks in the system putting you in danger. We're fighting for our life up here. I was screaming. I said, help me. They are desperate and afraid. Are Trisha Morton and Walter Mendez. They live in different parts of town, but both say the elevators they rely on are dangerous. There's so many people in this building, they're so afraid to open their mouth because they think we don't have any rights, but we do have rights. Morton lives in Hillcrest House Apartments in Southeast. She has nerve damage in her right leg, trouble breathing. She needs the elevator, but says it's broken down so often that it's taken out of service. And she's not the only one. Four of her neighbors who won't go on camera say they're always complaining to the building's management. So we call the property manager at Hillcrest House. He disputes tenants' claims that the elevator is always broken down, but these DCRA inspection reports document more than a dozen violations and problems with the elevator since November 2015. It was red tagged as, quote, life and limb hazard and unsafe for public use back in October 2017. I don't like canceling my doctor appointments because I know that they are important as far as my health is concerned. So, but I have to do what I have to do. It's emotional for Morton and Walter Mendez. I thought I was going to die. Back in January, Mendez was rushed to the hospital after getting trapped in this elevator inside Potomac Place Tower in Southwest. He dropped me down to the fourth floor 100 miles an hour. He dropped me off from the chair. What goes through your mind when you're out here and you look at this elevator again? I feel a nightmare. Elevators at Potomac Place Tower had damaged suspension ropes in 2011 and 2012. A phone that did not comply with the federal law for the disabled in 2012 and 2013 and cited for not passing an annual safety test in 2015. The agency in charge of making sure those elevators are safe and up to code for people like our Trisha and Walter is DCRA, the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. What are they regulating? They're not regulating the elevator service, not here anyway. Residents like our Trisha Morton say the agency headed up by this woman. I am Melinda Bowling, director is ignoring of the department. Them. They need an elevator repair. We're out there trying to work with the property owner to make sure it can happen as quickly as possible. And if it can't, we step in their place. This is a much bigger issue than we ever thought it was. Yes, ma'am. This is Audric Payne. He's a certified elevator inspector with more than 20 years experience with DCRA, and he still works there, one of their own, taking them to task. The R in regulatory affairs, that was extinguished a long time ago. And this is not the first time. For more than a decade, Inspector Payne has testified before the city council about problems in this agency. Here's one of them. There are nearly 20,000 elevators in the city and only three inspectors on staff. That means one inspector would be responsible for more than 6,000 elevators a year. Three inspectors for 15 to 20,000 elevators. There's yes. no way you can get to all of them. No way. DCRA tries to fill in the gap with outside third-party inspection companies, but Payne says they're not getting the job done either. In fact, he was called to Hillcrest House after one of those outside inspectors checked out the elevator and it still wasn't up to code. Countless violations outstanding since 2015. Right here. You said it should have never been approved in the first place. No, nope, shouldn't have been approved. And it was approved. Even though the elevator lacked a fire recall system, which stops the elevator in case of a fire in the building. And the safety device that keeps you inside of the cab if it stops in between floors so that you don't jump out did not work. Those are some of the issues that have never been fixed. 
On the phone, a manager from Hillcrest House told WUSA 9 that their 50-year-old elevator is bound to break down occasionally, but he trusts the inspection company hired to keep it running. The issues were never repaired yet. They have a license to run. DCRA documents show there were years when Hillcrest House owners didn't even renew its elevator license. But DCRA gave its stamp of approval anyway, despite the agency's own inspection reports citing multiple safety infractions. The property manager suggested a change in management could be the reason why there were lapses in renewing their license. Are you serving your community when you have hearing after hearing of these people complaining? What I would say is I think we issued over 50,000 permits last year, and you do have people who do complain, but they're a small percentage. As for our Trisha Morton's elevator, it's finally back in service only after we started making calls. She still doesn't trust it, though. Inspector Payne says she shouldn't. Hillcrest House property managers never called him back to reinspect the elevator. Walter Mendez's elevator, it's working as well, but he is hesitant every time he has to take it. Wow, so how pervasive a problem is this in the city? The inspector says it's everywhere. It's happening all over the place in hotels, hospitals and stores, places we go to every day. Something to think about, Delia, thank you. We should also note DCRA announced today the agency's building department just earned high marks from the International Accreditation Service. According to their website, IAS provides independent verification that government agencies are competent and comply with industry standards. To learn more about this, head over to our WUSA 9 mobile app. You can also hear more from Inspector Payne about elevator safety and inspections.